Hello football fans around the world, welcome once again, we are bringing you the latest sport news updates. Fernandez, Maduk, and Mudrick all start in Chelsea's best 11 after deadline day. Chelsea enjoyed a hectic end to the January transfer window after signing Enzo Fernandez in the 11th hour on deadline day. The 22-year-old's arrival saw the Blues' total spent for the month amount to an eye-watering £323 million. After penning an eight-and-a-half-year deal at Stamford Bridge, Fernandez has followed Michaelo Mudrick, João Felix, Noni Maduk, David Atro and Andre Santos to Cobham, while Malo Gusto arrives in the summer. With so many new players at Graham Potter's disposal, he must now pick the West Londoners best starting lineup. But the Chelsea boss has been left with more questions than answers as he looks to integrate new cultures, play styles and personalities into one changing room. There have been plenty of promising early signs thus far as Benoit Badia Shile and Thiago Silva forge a good relationship. Potter's best starting lineup as Chelsea head into the second half of the season looking for Champions League qualification. Formation, A4231 allows Potter to field as many of the Blues' exciting forward players as possible, within reason, while also operating a strong defensive structure. It's likely that the Chelsea boss will prefer a 4-3-3 or a 3-4-1, until the end of the season though. Goalkeeper, Kepa Arisa Balaga remains to be the West Londoners' strongest option between the sticks for now, but, if Edouard Mendy can impress when given the opportunity, the Senegalese star will be back in the starting lineup. A wild card option for Chelsea would be Gabriel Slonina. The 18-year-old joined the first team squad in the winter and, while he's relatively inexperienced, the shot stopper has an outside chance of leapfrogging his competitors. Defence, luckily for Potter, the back four picks itself, which can only be a good sign. Badia Shail and Silva appear to have found the makings of a great centre-back partnership. At full-back are Ben Chilwell and Rhys James. Mark Kukula is a very good backup option to have at left-back but, once the former returns to full fitness, the Englishman will surely return to the starting lineup. Midfield, World Cup winning midfield pivot of N'Golo Kante and Enzo Fernandez will be a sight to behold once the Frenchman returns from injury. Kante is yet to play under Potter after picking up a hamstring injury against Tottenham in August. He's been on the sidelines ever since as he continues to recover. In the meantime, Chelsea will have to operate a three-man midfield to make up for the 31-year-old's famous work rate. Attack, a front four of Mudrick, Felix, Maduk and Kai Havertz will be a force to be reckoned with, not to mention the additions of Hakim Ziyech and Mason Mount off the bench. But Chelsea have an issue in the striker department. Havertz isn't a natural talisman, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is out of form and Fofana has recently joined. The latter of the trio could surprise many when given a run of games. For more sport-related updates, stay tuned, and thank you for watching, please comment, like, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.